And coming up next week, it can't be too long before we see wintry scenes like this in Massachusetts. The past few winters, though, in New England have been pretty mild. Just seeing that snow, I get heart I know, right? palpitations yeah. a little bit. <laughs> All this week, we're zeroing in on the winter forecast. And uh, Eric, hmm. the pattern, what's it doing here? Well, you can have a run of quieter ones. Of course, not always the case here in New England. No. So we're all week going to take a look at different factors that go okay. into it. And tonight we're going to start off with some of the questions that people have been sending us. Does our weather this year have anything to do with what's ahead? Okay. 2021 has been a remarkable year for weather in southern New England. At the start of November, Boston was nearly 13 inches above the average yearly rainfall to date. That thanks largely in part to the wettest July through September ever recorded in the city. A whopping 24.54 inches of rain in just those three months. Typically, when you get a lot of rain, temperatures are down thanks to an abundant cloud cover. Not in 2021. Boston is currently sitting as the warmest year on record. The city also recorded the warmest meteorological summer on record despite all that rainfall. So as we turn the page and we look towards winter, everyone's been asking, what does all of this crazy weather of 2021 mean? If you look at the top 10 warmest years on record, the snow season that followed averaged 44.2 inches of snow, about five inches below average. Looking at the top 10 warmest summers, the winters that followed averaged 39.4 inches, nearly 10 inches below average. And by the way, only one of those years, 2010, had an above average winter of snow. So what's the conclusion? Warm summers and warm years are followed by below average snowfall about 80% of the time. What about wet years? Is there a correlation there? Yep. If you take the top 10 wettest years on record through early November, only two of those years were followed by above average snowfall. Again, signs pointing to about 80% chance of below average snow. One last thought, the last three winters have all had less snow than average. So you could say that we are due. Or are we? Boston just wrapped up its snowiest decade in the 2010s, averaging 53 inches per year. In fact, it's been pretty darn snowy for the last three decades since the 1990s. All things in nature tend to balance out over time. So perhaps the 2020s will feature less snow for a change. We talk about that a lot, that reversion to the mean, right? Things yep. tend to balance out. Now, all week long, we're going to look ahead to the winter forecast. And tomorrow at 5, WBZ meteorologist Sarah Robleski shows us how nature can help us forecast what will happen in the winter months or not. We'll look at some of the folklore that goes into the winter time, And we want to know about your predictions about the winter as well. And tonight, we're launching our snowfall contest. Let us know how much snow will fall at Logan this year over at the airport in Boston. And you can win a season ski pass to watch you sit mountain, something we do every year. A lot of fun. Lots of guesses. Sometimes people are within a tenth of an inch. Wow. It is pretty so it can be very close. Yeah, and just looking at that, it is interesting to see the breakdown. You know, an 80% likelihood, that's pretty high. Yeah, and these seasonal outlooks, they're educated guesses, right? You're yeah. looking for correlations, you're looking for patterns, things that happened in the past, and what do they mean for the future? And I'm glad that you're doing this way before Punxsutawney Phil. Right. <laughs> he just tells you the very tail end. The we tail try end. to get out ahead right. of everything. Right. This is the real you're deal. predicting. Well, let's start with uh, November. Okay. And uh, here's a look at kind of snowfall that happens in November. I wouldn't say that it accumulates every year in the area. I put central mass here because if you live at the coast, it generally does not accumulate during the month of November. Those are pretty rare. So here's a look at Worcester. A lot of years recently, no accumulating snowfall are very little. But a few bigger events mixed in here. 2012. That ended up being a pretty big winter. 2014, that was a very big winter. And then 2018, which was about all we had for the entire winter. So we do get snowfall in November, though there's none in the forecast right now. It'd have to happen during the last week, which is also the week you would most expect it, right? Getting closer into the winter season.